what is good you guys top of the mother freaking morning so once again we are here at the old visa slough today seems like a good day to target some sturgeons i was here recently which was yesterday my goal was to like limit out on a quick session of striper unfortunately you know from yesterday's experience from what i saw was sturgeons jumping non-stop so today hopefully you know that i can you know land a sturgeon if not a striper you know whatever hits first wouldn't win anyways wish me luck let's get to it all right guys so before i cast in i just want to go ahead and show you guys what i'm working with i am working with my brand new phoenix rod this is a nine foot one piece with a pen slammer three reel guys okay everything i've prepped from yesterday for today so as you can see this is a barbless hook with a 40 pound of mono leader and this setup is a carolina rig with a ball weight and i am using a two ounce weight just go ahead and clip it on and there you go time to put on bait all right so for today's bait i have leftover ghost shrimp from months back <laughs> I mean, when it comes to surgeon fishing, they do love rotten bait. Also, I am going to do a combination with some fresh pie worms that I purchased from um, Coyote Bait and Tackle. If you guys would like to check out their bait shop, I'll go ahead and put their description down below. So let's get to it. Okay, so I think I want to go ahead and use two ghost shrimp because this is kind of rotten. I gotta work with it. This is what I have left from my refrigerator. Unfortunately, I woke up at um, 3 o'clock in the morning. Right now, it is like 4 a.m. So, that being said, the bait shop isn't open. So, I'm just working with what I have right now. Let's get to it. Alright, guys. So, I know it looks like a sloppy mess. So, I just made a sandwich with the ghost shrimp put the tail on the bottom and wrapped some pie worms all around it just like that and it looks sloppy but you know that's what sturgeons like it doesn't have to look pretty i just hope these pie worms don't bite me okay let's go ahead and fold that in wrap it up he wants everything to get stuck on there because that's what sturgeons like man you want to like experiment you guys like you know i know it may seem like it's not gonna work but throughout my whole experience fishing here at the slough man i've been experimenting and let me tell you i've been having a shit ton of luck um before I never thought, you know, none of none, none of us never thought that eel would work here, you know, like Lambert eel. Then when I tried it with a combination of earthworm, it wouldn't work like just a fillet of eel, you know. It would work with a combination of earthworm. That's the crazy part, you know, about sturgeon fishing is that they're very picky. So there you go. Go ahead and break it off. And we got the pine worm, ghost shrimp. And the hook exposed on the bottom. You want to go ahead and pull the bait down to the lead line and expose the hook just like that. Time to cast in. Wish me luck, guys. Look at that. That looks so promising. Woo! I can't wait. All right, guys. So I am about to cast in. Right now, it is incoming tide. So sturgeon should be coming in. It is cold out here. Um, the weather today is overcast. The wind is like what four miles per hour. That's actually a good, you know, weather for sturgeon fishing when it comes to fishing at the slough. All right, so let's try to cast at the other side in three, two, one. And there you go. Now we wait, guys.
Okay. I didn't even know where it went because it's too dark out there. You want to put your drag. And this is what I was talking about with the pen slammer. Is that um, the drag on this reel doesn't get that loose. So when it comes to like fishing at the slough, you want to make sure that you have a really stable rod holder, okay? Because, you know, when something takes this rod, <laughs> it's going in. Okay, now we wait, guys. Wish me luck. If you guys are wondering how or when is the best day to check the tire prediction or the weather, I mean, it's simple. It's not rocket science, guys. All you need to do is just bring out your phone, you know, type in the location of weather you're fishing at. So... You know, for an example, I am at Alviso, so I would put weather for Alviso, San Jose, California. And boom, today is Wednesday. The wind is one mile per hour. The humidity is 70%, and it is overcast all the way, guys. Partly cloudy is the best time to go fishing for sturgeon. After you're done checking the weather, let's go ahead and check the tire prediction. Okay, to check the tire prediction, all you need to do is go on Google and type in the location you're fishing at. So, for an example, again, I am at Alviso, so I will type in Alviso High Tide. And this will pop up, okay? The first thing that pops up is www.usharbors.com. If you guys would like to go ahead and check that tide prediction website out, I'll go ahead and put that description down below. Let's get to it. So, we click it. All right, so right now it is 7 12 a.m. It's not fully high tide yet, it's approaching high tide. It will get low at 2 p.m. So, the best time to come is during incoming tide and outgoing tide because a fish comes in and a fish goes out. Okay, it comes in and it goes out. Um, when that happens, that's when you have to like rebate up and you know just wish and hope for the best <laughs> anyway so if you like scroll down you can check like recent tire prediction or for like future tire prediction okay for tomorrow thursday the tide is going to be 8.4 at 9 a.m guys so yeah it, if you scroll all the way down it shows all the future tire prediction. And don't worry. Um, if you guys still don't get it, leave a comment down below. And I'll be more than welcome to answer your questions. James got one. Woo! Oh my goodness. Congratulations, James. Woo! That's how you do it. How'd you pull it up? You went in the mud? Huh? You went in the mud? Huh? Oh man, there we go. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank man. I was, I was just right there. Yeah, I, was. <laughs> I went to go get something to eat. <laughs> wow, check that yeah. out, guys. First time, bro. First time. I've been trying for a couple of days. Yeah, um, I lost I lost one yesterday. Oh, yesterday? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know. Um, just I'm, here. Yeah. I'm just playing there then. The, I was about to bring it there, uh -huh. but got stuck on on, on that side, oh, in the yeah? corner. Yeah, I was Man. able to. How long you fight it for? Um, not that long. Not but that long, right? Yeah, because I'm yeah. using a kind of a big, big oh, size yeah? Uh, reel. Yeah, that's all you need, right? Yeah, that yeah. that that you know yeah. the length of that pounds, rod. Eighty pounds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> did you measure them yet? Yeah, uh, I did. Uh, Let's go ahead and measure them. Congratulations, man. I'm sure you saw my Facebook, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I saw your Facebook that I'm out, I'm at work. Yeah. That, that you said a lot of uh, sturgeons. Uh, it's 52. 52. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Keeper size, guys. Yeah, 51 and a half. 50. 51 and a half. 51 and a half. And to the fork, to yeah. the zero right there. 52. 52. 52 inches yeah. right there. Yeah. And then, you know, if this toe was straight, it still would have been still a keeper. Yeah. Congratulations, oh. James. That's James, yeah. guys. Met him from the YouTube channel. 
I was just here and I went to go get something to eat and then You were here yesterday? Yeah, I was here yesterday. She said uh, a lot of surgeons jumping out. They were jumping everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm uh, I'm on uh, at work. Yeah. Then I saw your video then. And you decided to come out here yeah, and there yeah. you go, and man. There you go. From work, I, I go straight here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, guys. Jamie is going to dispatch this prehistoric fish because he is going to keep it. Go ahead and bleed him right, out, James. And right three, here. two. One. Right here? Yes. Just cut yeah, that Just one? cut it. So the gills? Yes. So he can bleed out. I know it's tough, but you know, it's rewarding. Oh man. Is that the right way or? Yeah, just, just cut it. You got, there we go. Yeah, he's, ble he's bleeding. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just let him oh. bleed. There we go. Wow. Your first kill. Now you got to drink first his blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh man, James! No, I don't know. How to wow, <laughs> his first sturgeon, guys! First sturgeon, first oh, try of the year. Nice, you, yeah. you're, you're winning. Now we are about to go ahead and haul him out, put it in his car, and call it a day. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is going to be so epic! Wow, first one of the year. Hauling air. out of oh. all these. Oh, careful. <laughs> Very slippery. Oh. Mr. James. All right, so head goes on the right here because it's the heaviest part. Yeah. And there we go. See? And then you need something to tie its tail on a string. And you should be good. Okay. So. <sighs> hold, hold this. Oh, no, no, you can't hold it. No, no, it's okay. There we go. Okay, we're gonna wrap it all the way up. Wrap it right here. Right here. Right there. No, no, it's fine. Right. There. Right. Okay, there we go. Now, we need like a rope to tie the tail right here, and you should be good. <laughs> okay. He's really riding your sturgeon. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find something for you, James. And this is what it looks like when it comes to taking a sturgeon out of Alviso. The trail is so far, we literally have to tie it on the bike. Okay, we did this last year, so right now I am helping James hauling this sturgeon out carefully without him falling over. Okay, let's get to it. You're gonna come back tomorrow? No, uh, okay. tomorrow is not that much, uh, you know, overcast weather. It's yeah. kind of hot tomorrow. Too hot. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So you saw the weather, right? Yeah. Yeah, the weather. weather. I think this is the best time because it's, it's going to be at uh, Yeah. Up to 60, I think. Yep. Yeah. There you go. He's literally riding his sturgeon, guys. Yeah. Ciao, baby. Let's go. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to see. Oh, not this one. Ready? One, two. Careful, it's, it's, very, it's very sharp, okay? Where do you want to put it? Just like that? Oh, there's blood everywhere. Okay. All right, guys, today was an epic day. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the fight. I went back to the car to grab some food, and then James called me and said he had one, so I had to rush back as soon as possible. So that I can get the whole footage, but you know, as you guys can see from the video, I wasn't able to. So, if you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, until next time.